Hi everybody, it's Mike from Trick Drums. I wanted to give you some more in-depth detail on how our SB1 trigger system works. This is a really cool technology right here. For those of you that use triggers currently, chances are it's a piezo style trigger um, that's looking for vibration or a sound wave. And as you probably are well aware, there's all kinds of inherent problems with that. False triggers, crosstalk, etc. This technology eliminates those issues because we're not looking for a sound wave. We are strictly monitoring motion and velocity. And what we've done is we've taken advanced laser technology, installed it into this printed circuit board, and added a computer chip with all kinds of really fancy software that is basically monitoring the motion and velocity of the pedal. The trigger system mounts squarely to the pedal. It stays on the pedal so you don't have to take it on or off and recalibrate it and set it up or any of that kind of stuff. Once you install it the first time, that's it. You're, you're good to go. But what we're, what we're doing now is the computer, once the pedal starts moving, is it's saying, okay, I sense that there's motion and it's interpreting the velocity. And basically what it's going to say at the end is that when that velocity abruptly stops, which would mean you're hitting your bass drum head, so boom, it triggers. It's basically the world's fanciest switch, but it doesn't come with all the other issues that you have with a piezo style trigger. It's mounted to the pedal, rock solid. It's pretty much bulletproof technology, and it just works. It's accurate to 1.5 milliseconds, and it solves a lot of problems. We've updated the SB1 in 2017 to make it a little bit more user friendly, I guess, in that now it uses basically off the shelf component parts aside from the proprietary nature of, of the triggering system, but it uses just straight up quarter inch cable and a, you know, a wall wart power supply. It's important to know that this power supply is universal for voltages around the world. The only thing that you might need would be an adapter so that you can plug this into whatever power supply you may be using, whether it's a, uh, you know, just into the wall or a power strip, whatever. That would be the only thing. But voltage-wise, this will be compatible around the world. And this is just a straight-up instrument cable. With a, you'll need a right-angle quarter to quarter. This would go into your drum brain. Both of these are available just about any place. This quarter inch cable you can get at any music store on the planet. This is nothing special in terms of uh, proprietary nature. You can buy these pretty much anywhere around the globe. So if you're on tour and one of these two things were to go bad, you, you can get back up and running because these products are available. They're not proprietary to us. And we did that deliberately because sometimes these things can be prone to, to failure. You lose them. Uh, you step on it, whatever, but you can get them any place in, in the world pretty much. Um, again, if you, if you zoom in, you're going to see this blue LED light. This light tells you a couple of different things. When you power up the trigger, the light's going to come on. That tells you that the trigger has power. When you hit your drum head, you'll see that the LED flashes. That tells you that it's triggering. So if you see a flash, you 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 that the trigger has sent a trigger signal. If for some reason you're not getting that signal, it's something to do with something downstream of the trigger. So it could be the cable's not good, uh, something in the, in the in the drum brain. But if that flash occurs, you know that a signal has been sent, so it lets you do a little bit of onboard diagnostics as well. Um, this is really great tech, kind of uh, futuristic, but like I said, it solves a lot of problems. The SB1s are available for all models of Pro 1V as well as Dominator. Um, the new 2017 version is out in stores now and uh, shipping every day. The, one thing that you should notice when you look at this housing is that this is the only current version. 
for the foreseeable future, while our retail partners start to transition their images, sometimes it doesn't just happen overnight, you might still see the old model, but know that this is the newest version and the only one that we currently make. We've transitioned away from the old model. Uh, I hope you found that this information helpful in why our product is different and, and how, it, how it performs differently. And uh, we really appreciate uh, you taking the time. Thanks.